In the previous video, we talked about Madonna horror complex that some men suffer from. In this video, we're going to talk a female version of Madonna horror complex, which is called White Knight Casanova complex, where the split occurs in a woman between the good guys and the bad guys. She marries usually a good boy who she can rely on, but her sexual desire is directed somewhere else to this bad boys who I will never marry but I want to be fucked by. Hi my name is Katusha, I'm your sex and relationship coach and let's dive in deeper where does this complex take its roots. According to Sigmund Freud, the father of psychology, when a little girl is born her father takes her in his arms and her father is God, the God, everything, the whole universe to this girl, his voice, his hands, his eyes, his smell. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of my father's smell. My father smelled like alcohol, cigarettes, and sweat. So this was my wiring. So whenever I smell that, and usually I don't smell in the United States at all, but whenever I would go back to uh, Russia and Ukraine, I would, like somewhere on the bus or even on the plane, I remember a few years ago, I took this plane from Moscow to my hometown up north of Russia. And this, this plane was full of men, small, tiny plane filled with Russian men. And I smell that. It smelled like alcohol, cigarettes, and sweat. And you might think disgusting, right? <laughs> but this was my first smell of a father. I was by wired to think that, oh, that's home. <laughs> That's the smell of home. So to this little girl, her father is everything. It's her man. But as she grows up, she learns that all of a sudden now she can't walk around naked in front of him. Uh, she can't kiss him on his lips because she scolded for that. And now she sees that her mom is doing that. She realizes that it's not her man and her mom's man. And the feeling that she's feeling towards him and the desires to be physically close to him, now she learns that this is not appropriate. She has to wear underwear in front of him. Uh, her father, you're not really supposed to talk about your menstruation, the female stuff, right? It belongs to your mom, not to the dad. So she learns there are things that are appropriate that a proper girl do, and there are things that are inappropriate. But the things that are inappropriate don't just disappear. They still exist inside of her. They just go into sort of like a little box somewhere of things that you're not supposed to do. All right, the things that come to my mind. Oh, my child got hurt. Which like right now I'm sitting, you can't see, but I'm wearing shorts. So my legs are spread out. I wouldn't be able to sit like this in Russia. You always have to keep your legs together. Like I would always hear, keep your legs together. Put your legs together. The proper girl sit like that, right? Not like that. Understandably, understandably, why? Because if you would sit like that in the skirt, in the park, in the bench, you would attract a lot of unwanted attention. How does this manifest in adult life? So when a woman girl grows up, she becomes a woman, she chooses a proper man, like her dad, a good man who she knows will support her, so he can, she, she can rely on him, he will come home after work, he will be a good father to her kids, but for some reason, I cannot even imagine having hot sex with him. I still have sex with him, it's kind of okay, maybe a little boring, but all my desires belong to somewhere where they shouldn't belong. For example, like to a sexy barber, or to a convict who I know is a psychopath and there's no way I can bear children with him, but why do I fantasize of him devouring me sexually completely? Or to even, let's say, a disgusting homeless person, bomb. Like, ugh. Women experience feelings of disgust. It's, it's really, re someone is really revolting to her, but at the same time, she experienced the sexual desire towards those objects, right? Why? Well, we're trying to figure it out, though nobody really has a precise answer because these internal 
pathway inside of, inside of our brains between our subconscious and conscious. You know, it's a mystery. Nobody really knows, but we're all trying to figure it out why and how they operate. So if you compare the Madonna whore complex and the white knight and the Casanova complex in women, men seem to adapt to it more around the world and, um, and specifically in, like in uh, Slavic countries, in former Soviet Union countries where I grew up. It's very common for a man to have the lover on his side and women just tolerate. Usually wife hates the lover and lover hates the wife, but that's how it is. Now, on the other hand, for a woman to have a lover, it's almost, well, it's very detrimental because women in, in that part of the world, they often, they're not independent enough. So the men, men are working in those worlds and women are, it's more traditional way of living. So in other words, if the husband finds out, he can divorce you, you'll be literally on the street with no money. So the consequences are much higher for women to have a lover. So usually women with this complex, they just settle down for um, unfulfilling sex life with a vibrator and fantasies. This woman, she doesn't really desire her husband. So for her husband, he's unfulfilled. He most likely to go and cheat, right? Um, and this kind of dynamic could lead to the divorce. So everybody suffers. From it. So what do you do? How do you approach that? Well, first and foremost, you have to have a conversation, an open and honest conversation for what's happening inside of you and what do you want and what do you desire. It can't be a surprise for partners. I've worked with people who said, my wife doesn't desire me because this and this and that. And when you start working with them, it's just not true. A wife who desires you very much, but she chooses not to have sex because she thinks that you don't desire her, like don't assume things you don't know. So address all of your fears and unfulfillment, put it on the surface of the conversation, right? First, start with the conversation. Talk to your husband for women, what you'd like, how you'd like to be loved, how you love to you make love to, talk about your fantasies, talk about your desires. Uh, maybe the, the husband, the good engineer, mathematic husband, maybe there's something needs to be changed in his look, maybe in his hair, the haircut, right? In other words, let him adapt 10% of what you desire from, let's say, a sexy electrician or um, your your physical trainer and often those IT engineers they are not connected to their bodies that's the thing so it's also invitation for a man to work on his embodiment and his passion and his integration inside of him and his uh, waking of the beast inside yeah so it's worth work for both of you but the goal is to heal that split to understand that woman can be a mother and a whore at the same time that the and the man can be a responsible man and a lustful casanova at the same time we are all multi-dimensional we all have these aspects in ourselves all have the, these roles by day we can play one role and at night we can play another role. Thank you for watching. Check out my free offering in the description below. In the next video, we'll talk more about how to heal this split in our psyche between good and bad, what's allowed and what's not. See you later. Bye.